Hey guys, thank you for joining me for this week's reading. I will be working with the self-care cards. Um, I'm just burning some Palo Santo to clear the energy and get started. Um, I like to start my readings with either burning sage or Palo Santo to just kind of clear the space. So these are the cards that I want to use for this week and we're going to see what messages come through. As always, these are general readings, so the message may or may not resonate with you. Now, I want to share with you guys an experience I had this week and, um, and it was very intense. It was on the 9th of June that I experienced this. So I went out for an evening walk and I came home, everything was fine and I was watching TV with my family and all of a sudden I start feeling cold and I just went to my room and I got, you know, inside my blankie and my whole body started shaking and shivering and it was like it was like I had caught the worst worst cold or it was like my my hands were shivering, my teeth were chattering and um it was something I never experienced like to that extent. I was like, I couldn't understand what was happening. And, and of course with, you know, the pandemic and everything going on right now, my mind was, oh my God, I hope I didn't pick up something. And why is my body acting out this way? And I was just, you know, I was in bed and I was trying to keep myself warm. And, um, but, like to the point that my hands were literally my hands and feet were cold and my body was shaking and shivering and so i had this go on for quite some time like a good half an hour to maybe 45 minutes i had a heat pad on my belly trying to keep myself warm but i was just like shivering and um, then i had these experiences which i want to share with you and i just closed my eyes and i lied down and i felt like i felt like i i came out of my body and i was floating first i was floating over my body then i felt like i went under my body and my body was like literally melting in the mattress and then i saw these flowers blooming on my body like all different colors of flowers blooming and one thing was prominent every time I saw these flowers, I, I would see a big bee, you know, like a normal bee, but this was like just 10 times bigger in size. But I would see these flowers just blooming. It was like I was on psychedelic or some kind of drugs. I've never had drugs in my life, guys, but <laughs> it felt like I was. And I was like, okay, whatever is happening is happening and just go with it. It felt kind of relaxing to see all those flowers like just bloom out and then again I had those you know those kind of different uh, things going on in my body and then but throughout my th third eye was throbbing like my third eye was so prominent and I could you know feel light going through it and then I, I just felt like the snake moving from my feet and going up and then going down and then going up and down. Well, I wasn't scared of any of these things. It was, just, it was just a bit shocking, obviously, to the body, like what's going on. But I've learned that sometimes I've had many awakening kind of symptoms and experiences. I've also had a Kundalini experience, which was like totally scary, guys. I hope I, I don't experience it again. Honestly, I'm very scared of it. Uh, I think I have spoken about it in my other videos. It's like a lightning passes through your body and your body is just like, you can't do anything. You're just like, ugh, you're just, you're aware. I, it was nighttime. I could see that lightning like pass through my body, but just can't do anything. It's like you're dead, but you're not dead. And I just hope I never experience it again because it was very, very intense. So was this experience and I felt so off for the last few days i was posting on facebook and instagram but i wasn't really my 100 percent because um as it is guys i like as you all know i'm a psychic medium and this is what i do for my profession and i'm channeling like literally every other day with my clients and uh one of the challenges for me is to ground my energies and to keep my energy grounded because i'm working a lot with my upper chakras my third eye and my crown chakra more than any regular person would use those chakras so my biggest challenge is always 
grounding my energy clearing my energy so i don't know if i had an energy overload or if i had an awakening experience of what it was but guys i can just say it was very intense and the the, the other two days also i felt i felt like i had fever but i did not have body fever and it was just like the spacey ungrounded even though i was connecting with other clients doing readings at that time but i can just say that i was in my full hundred percent so you know um the reason i'm sharing this is maybe some of you are experiencing this right now because i believe there are three ex uh, eclipses right we had one on june 5th we have another eclipse coming up on the 21st and then july 4th so sometimes these moon cycles and eclipses and all these energies guys they really hit me hard these collective energies like i feel the effect of it even the moon cycles uh, you know when it's a full moon sometimes i have a have trouble sleeping at night because the energy is so intense i can't sleep so you know maybe your experience if you've experienced anything like that please do share in the comments section also do share what you think happened because i'm curious too so i thought you know what it's best that we use self-care cards for this week and see what messages come through so three cards from spirit these three cards okay as i'm shuffling the cards i'm already hearing be ready for change okay be ready for change okay so i'll take this card and we have two more all right i'm gonna take it all <laughs> so the first card we have is listening listening and the message on the card is listen to your wise self let your inner compass direct the course of your life i feel you know um, many of you who are watching you guys are super intuitive but this is like what i'm getting the way you see she's looking at her own reflection in the mirror and loving herself so this is showing that self-love self-respect self-love are the most important is the key to everything else that you want to manifest in your life and just the other day i was telling someone that if you don't have good self-esteem if you don't love yourself and you no matter how much visualizations you do no much no matter how much uh you know those vision boards you create but if that's the basic groundwork for anything till you don't feel that you deserve better till you don't feel like you are deserving of the blessings from the universe you're not going to attract that into your life okay and this message is kind of the same learning to love yourself and also learning to honor your inner voice learning to honor your intuition okay your inner guidance the next card we have is independence beautiful card i love the imagery on these cards the message on the card is decide for yourself exercise your right to choose so some of you have a choice okay some of you have a choice and as you can see she's at the edge of this cliff about to take a leap and she has these beautiful butterfly wings okay some of you have to take a risk and you may be at this junction in your life where you are deciding should i do this this whatever decision you want to take it may involve some risk and you may want to play it safe but your inner guidance is already telling you what you have to do okay your inner guidance already knows the truth and this is like you know what to do and you have the freedom and you have the power to make those changes in your life okay it's like there is this ending there is a sunset behind her so it's like your old life is ending and your new life is beginning and give yourself the power to be you give yourself the chance to be independent okay so this is like a decision that you have to make now we have this card of connection and uh, it says on the back of the card connect with someone special a loved one is a gift to treasure okay now with this card i want to say that people come and people go 
from our lives okay not not all connections stay but some connections are for life and they are very valuable and they are very precious that includes our family our close friends and what i'm getting from this is also knowing that the divine has you protected knowing that you are constantly supported by the universe you know this is this is the thinking that we have to come to as a collective that no matter what happens in the in my external world i am constantly protected i am constantly provided because source has my back god has my back okay so and that's something that you know it it comes from within you it's it's not just a theory that's out there it's not just an idea that's out there you should you should truly feel it and you know it's easy to feel supported when everything is in your favor right when you have a roof over your head when you have food when everything it's like having that feel, that that you know that belief even when things are against you holding on to that thought holding on to that faith having it having that faith even when external circumstances are not proving the same so just holding on to that belief right and also understanding our connection with the universe you know as within so without and you know as above so below like like they say everything everything in our reality is it begins from you it begins from that internal space our belief systems are the main thing that creates everything else and the last card the, that we have is tenderness yes being kind to yourself so uh, at the back of the card is speak gently to yourself ch cherish the child within so for many of you you know maybe you were abandoned as a child maybe you you felt rejected as as a child uh maybe you went through experiences for some you know your mom or your dad was not even there for you right and as you can see in this picture this child is alone with her doll and it's like a mother figure uh in the background so it's like you know there's a sense of feeling neglected there's a sense of feeling unloved or there was this projection that if you are not a certain way you won't get the love you won't get the approval you won't get all this you know whatever you want you have to earn that the truth is you know every child deserves love and love is not something that that should be earned right so just looking at this reading on a broad spectrum and trying to understand what messages i'm getting so just give me a moment guys and just let me tune in further to see if there's anything else that needs to come i'm feeling like yes you are on this path of growth and you are on this path of acceleration but time and time again there is a need to pause there is a need to listen there is a need to connect with this higher source to you know we can get cuz we can get so disconnected with so many things sometimes you know there's there's a whole list to do like we got to do this and we got to run and we got to do errands and like but the most important thing is taking out this time to tune inwards because we can all plug out into the world right there's there's the social media and there's this and there's you know all these different things and responsibilities that can drive us in different directions and that can even make us lose our course like what what is our path what is that i truly want and if i'm not tuning in if i'm not centering myself if i'm not going within i can be driven in so many different directions because you know what the world has an opinion everyone has an opinion about how you should be how you should live 
what you should believe, what you should eat, what you should do, what you shouldn't do. So if you're listening to all these voices, you can get you can get so lost in it. And especially if you are, you know, as a child, you've always learned to seek approval of others. You've always learned that, you know, love has to be earned. Otherwise you are a reject. Nobody's gonna love you. Nobody's gonna approve you. So you have to, you know, paint this, you have to be a people pleaser. A lot of times empaths become people pleasers because they're so sensitive. They're picking on everyone's energy and they just figure out a way to, you know, how can I make everyone happy? And that's how I was uh, growing up. I wanted to please everyone till I learned that that's not the right way, right? That's not the right way because when you are a people pleaser, you're never, you're not in touch with your truth. And sometimes your truth can be very different to those around you. So if you are not loving yourself, if you're not tuning in, you'll never take th those risks, right? Life is, you know, your guides and life is all about taking risks, guys. That That's one thing I can tell you that I have learned from my journey is risk. You know, a lot of people want to connect with spirit guides. A lot of people want to connect with angels. And, they, you know, whenever I do these one-on-one -on -one sessions, they always ask me, how do I do this? How do I... But I'm, I'm telling you, when you connect with your guides and angels and your ancestors, they want you to evolve on your spiritual journey. They want you to be the best version of yourself while on earth. And that involves stepping out of your comfort zone. That involves taking risks. It's never about, okay, you can just sit back and this your life is going to change. It's never about that. Guys, most of the spiritual people who are doing their work, they've done a lot of work on themselves. They've worked hard to be where they are. And most of them, if you hear their stories, their story is not easy. It's not, it's not an easy journey. But they, they were persistent and they kept tuning in. That is the secret of going within connecting with your higher self connecting with source following your truth and when you do all these things even if you had you know any problems or wounded inner child issues they, like you heal that you heal that through doing all this groundwork okay so I hope I don't didn't go on a different tangent. I tried to stick to the reading, but these messages needed to come through. Thank you guys so much for watching and I, I wish you guys the best. I will see you soon.